Hi everyone. Hi all you scatterdelic folk. I'm going to show you a thing called a fire roll, or sometimes called a Rudiger roll. I love this method of fire lighting. It's, it's got so many benefits, it's got a great story behind it. It's one of the most achievable ways to learn about friction fire. It's probably the only method of fire lighting that's been created in the last thousand years. It's got so much going for it. It was invented in the Second World War um, and it was invented by British prisoners of war in, in German prison camps and they, they learnt it, they, they created it, they, 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 all this ingenuity, all this new way of thinking was just simply a way of being able to light cigarettes. And the, the, the joke I make when I talk about this is necessity being the mother of invention and uh, addiction being the grandmother. It's such an incredible thing that, to drive. Now all they used was they used strips of bedcloth, so cotton bedcloth, and they took the ash from the last night's fire and they rolled it down the cotton bedcloth, rolled it in a roll, and then went backwards and forwards under their feet. And that would, that would create an ember that they could light something from. And it's a friction fire lighting method because what you've got is you've got this, this circular roll and because you're squashing it between two things and then rolling it, all the little ash particles end up rubbing against each other because they've been squashed and unsquashed and moved all the time. And they get very hot and they light the cotton that's around it. It's very achievable. It's very achievable for young people and for adults to get this. It might take a bit of practice. There's a few little bits of technique to it. I'll go through it now. And then in a second, I'll show an alternate piece of kit for creating this, this Rudiger roll. Right, so two bits of wood to rub between. And rather than a cotton bed sheet, what you can use is a cotton wall ball. And what a cotton wall ball that people don't realize is it's a rolled up length of cotton wool so you can unroll it. And then I have some ash, this is cold ash, nothing more than that, just from a fire I've had previously. And I'm gonna sprinkle plenty of it down the middle. Now, this is, the, this is the, the trickiest bit. We have to get this into a really, really nice tight roll. So to start with, we just go one way and we get this nice and solid one way and what i would do in a demo is i would hand that round and i'd say that's about that's the, it feels like a pencil it's the right kind of diameter and hardness now i'm going to get out of breath here so hopefully the microphone doesn't pick up too much of this but i'm going to go backwards and forwards and you're getting an amount of pressure and speed i've just got to move it back under me there you go you see that smoking now what I'm going to try and do without burning my fingers and you saw that didn't take a lot of time it took a bit of effort but what I'm looking for in here is the ember right where is it where's the glow there's the glowing bit Right, so there we go, got a nice glowing ember. So what I'm going to do is put that in my little bird's nest. And I've got my bucket of water here to dump it in, wouldn't it? So this is just straw bought from a pet shop. Right, more smoke, so we're about to go on fire, and you can hear the crackling. Now, if you're very close, I don't know if you've ever seen it on there, but the smoke will go from quite white to a sort of dark browny green when it's about to turn to fire. There you go, flames. The Radiger roll, the fire roll. I also like it, what I didn't say about it before, was it creates a really long lasting hot ember, which makes it very easy to do what I've just done there, to create a fire into the straw. It's got lots of good things, very nice little technique. And moving on a bit, I said that it was a very achievable fire lighting technique. And I've had explorers do it with just the two boards like I did. I've had some bigger scouts this is something we've created in Bushgale. So basically, it comes apart 
I put my cotton wool and my ash in there. And then I've got either for older sections, I can have one on each side, pulling this backwards and forwards. And the trick is to get that as long as possible. If the younger sections, I'll hold one end and they can hold the other and they get a real sense of success and achievement when they get it working with this. Thank you.